Yeah, hello guys, welcome to Enlightro Academic channel. So today we're going to bring to you another tutorial. So what I want to teach you today is um, how to create and generate unique slug on Laravel. So that's what I want to show you today. All right, so Laravel creates or generates unique slug for blog posts. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate to you on how to make unique slug or SEO friendly slug URL for each post in Laravel. And we are going to use a particular library called Shivrock Eloquent Sluggable Laravel Package. All right. So that is what we want to do today. But this um, tutorial I'm doing, I'm going to um, build it on top of our existing um, passport um, tutorial so you assess everything through an api so let's get started so the first thing i want to do is um i want to install the um the package so this is the package and um all right so this is the github page all right so you can visit here to um read more about the um the whole you know the whole documentation on this library so everything you need to know is here so i'll just go straight to the tutorial at once all right guys um we are done with the installation for now. So, but before I move on, for those of us that is using um, PHP, uh, sorry, Laravel 5.8. So, if you want to install, you use this um, particular um, installation method because if you use just the sluggable, it won't work. So, you have to put 4.8. All right, you can check that documentation regarding to that. Okay, guys. So, let's dive in fully. All right, so the installation is done. So the first thing we want to do is we want to publish uh, this uh, library. So we just uh, so the this um, code this uh, code you can get it at the um, documentation page. So you just do PHP artisan vendor publish and uh, you just publish. Okay, guys, so why this goes on? So let's move on to other areas. Okay, so um, it's done publishing. So the next thing I want to do now is I want to go to, is a very, to integrate um, the slug is very simple, okay? So what I want to do now is I, I want to go to our database migration, and I'm going straight to the, um, to the product um, page, um, to the product database um, schema. All right, so we're here now. So what I just want to do is I just want to um, create a new column for um, slug. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to call it slug. All right. So guys, um, so this is it. So I've created uh, that for slug. So this is going to be our new slug down table. So I believe that if you're watching this tutorial, you're already um, familiar with um, Laravel. So no need to go into the little details. All right, so now that we have that, so what we want to do now is um, we want to go to our app provider. So we here provider. So we are actually going to app service provider. So we are actually going to add um, a little feature here. So under this boot section, under this boot section, we are going to add uh, something more. So we're going to say schema schema um, default string and um, length all right so this is it 
So this is just all you need to add to the um, to the boots. While over here, we're going to add. We're going to use use. You already familiar with this? Illuminate. Then um, support. And um, four cards. Then we add um, schema. All right, so this is all we just need to do. So a, a, a little brief of. So we added um, default string length to so one ninety one. Then we added. Um, this uh, plus to it. So now, so the next thing we want to do is uh, we just come to here and just say PHP. Um, so we just go to Addison, migrate. Okay, I'm trying. I tried trying to refresh the database since I've already created it. So refresh. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake here. All right. So migrate. Um, refresh. Okay, so that's actually going to drop our table and it's going to, you know, migrate it all over from afresh again. All right, guys, so um, why this is done? So the next thing I want to go to, I want to go to the um, products, the products model. And in this products model, I just want to add slug to it. Okay, so I'm just going to add um slug to it. All right, so this basically is so I've added slug to it. So one more thing is, I'm going to come under here. I'm just going to create a public function. I'm going to create a public function. So as I said, when you go to the official documentation page, you're going to see all the um. You're going to see all the everything I'm doing here. So it's there. All right, so guys, so we just return. So, so you you can actually modify this to what you want anyway. But so this is a little bit of um, there's something happening here. Okay, so in this source, in this source, like you want to provide the source where what am I doing? So you want to provide the source where the um, this like the particular table where you want to extract um, that you want to create um, this log for. So for this particular one, the name of the table we're using is what is name. All right. So the user is actually going to. Uh, so anytime the user creates a product, so the product name is actually going to be written okay into a friendly URL. All right, so that's all right, guys. So next thing I want to go to our um, product controller. So this is um, our controller. So this is our um, product controller. So inside our product controller, this is what we want to do. Anytime we're saving the the name into the database, we want to create uh, the we want to create um, the slug okay as well all right guys so this is what we're going to do so over here all right see note that this is a project i've already done so you can check our previous video to see how i came about this okay but this is just something that's just like a snippet so you can add it to your project and um, so i'm going to add it here now so i'm just going to say product and i'm just going to say um slug all right so i'm just going to come here and say um request uh, no 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 so yeah now i'm just gonna do just a sec all right so i'm gonna do slug all right sorry i'm gonna do slug i still need to import this into this page as well so i'm gonna do slug and um create slug all right so create slug and um, the next thing I want to do is I want to call the posts method. 
then sorry 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 i want to call the uh, the product model so i want to call the product model so i've called the product model here so the next thing i want to do is the particular um, um, column in the product model which is what slug this um so this particular stuff actually takes um two parameters so over here i'm going to pass in the our request um, name so i'm just going to say request okay so i'm just going to say request and uh, i'm just going to do name all right so guys so this is basically it so like we are done with uh, basically everything we need to do right now so so um now there's one more thing we need to do which is uh over here at the top so we just need to import uh we just need to import the the class that we're using so sorry the library rather so it has civic i think i'm just going to copy and paste this in order to, for it to be accurate so as i said you can actually get this on the GitHub page. All right, guys. So basically, this is um, what we need to do. All right. So if you're referring to this point, I think um, by now you should understand everything we did. So I need to close this. And um, so that's that. All right. So let's uh, move on now to go and um, test uh, what we have done. So to test this thing out, we actually be using um, Postman. So, but before we start that, we're just going to do PHP, Addison. So, all right. So, why this is um, loading up? So, let me open the Postman so that we can test out this application. All right, guys. So, there's one thing uh, before we test it out. There's one thing we have not done. It was just an oversight. Um, in our products, so over here, in our product, uh, in our product model, we are supposed to import the library. Okay, we're supposed to import the library, which is um, this here. Then also inside um, the class, we're just supposed to use do use um, sluggable. All right. So guys, so this is uh, what we need to do. Okay, guys. So let's test um, this out. So this is our postman. So let's go to our um, um, so this is our postman we're already used to this so let me create a product called um, samsung um austra slim led tv all right so okay let's say the price is um say thousand five hundred dollars all right so let's um create this product all right so it's, you, you can see the name all right and you can see the slug as well so just watch out so let's say i'm creating this same product with the same name again just watch all right you see it now has samsung Ostra slim dash tv dash one let's say i'm creating it again you see samsung Ostra slim ltv dash two which makes it what totally what unique so let's go to and get all our product right now. So let's uh, request for all our products. So if you find out, let me use some of the new ones I just created. See, Samsung, LED TV, you see the slug, unique. All right, Samsung, LED TV, unique, unique. All right, guys, so this is the end of our tutorial. I really appreciate um, you um, supporting this channel so please if you want to make any request of any videos please just um, shoot me a mail um, you can comment it at the comment section i really appreciate it. please subscribe to the channel and um, have a nice time until we see you next week all right bye